Okay, so in this problem, we're given a classroom which has a girl-to-boy ratio of 8 to 7. Now, what that means is there's a little bit more likelihood of a girl being in a particular seat than a boy because you've got 8 girls for every 7 boys in the classroom. Now, we can imagine a bunch of different arrangements that would satisfy this. You could say, for one thing, hey, maybe there are 8 girls and there are seven boys. I mean, that's that's a pretty basic scenario, right? That would be an eight to seven ratio. And it would result in 15 students. But that doesn't work because we're told there are 30 people in the room. So what other sorts of ratios would also be equivalent to eight to seven? Well, what if there were 16 girls and 14 boys? See, I just multiplied those by two. And if you add those up, there we go, that's 30 students. You might have gone a little more extreme. You might have said, well, what if there's 24 girls and 21 boys? That's a pretty big classroom. Okay, that would be 45 students. And that's a little bit past the mark. Now, you'll notice I didn't do anything in between. I'm not saying there's um, 12 girls, for example, 12 girls and three and a half boys. Well, Whichever half of the boy we got there, that wouldn't be too pleasant. We're, we're talking about whole numbers, okay? So you want to think about multiplying this by 2, by 3, by 4, something to keep your ratio consistent, but also make the word problem um, common sense, right? We're talking about whole numbers of people.